All right, let's take a look at what the conditions are going to be for Monday's total solar eclipse. Here's the path going through Texas, up through Indianapolis, Cleveland, Buffalo, and out through New England. So the further upstate in New York you are, the most percent totality you're going to get. Um, obviously, it goes through New York a little bit later in the day. We're looking at mid-afternoon is when we're going to get the best view. So here's some fast facts. This is the first total solar eclipse visible over the mainland U.S. since 2017. The moon's going to completely cover the sun for three to four minutes, likely about three minutes and 45 seconds is what most of us are going to see. And the next total solar eclipse won't be until the year 2044. However, that path is going to be further west. So the next time we'll get a really good view in New York State for a total solar eclipse is not going to be until about 2079. So soak this one in. So here's that uh, eclipse path. The further away you are from the path, the less percent totality you're going to get. We are going to get a really good view in New York City nearly 80% totality. Um, and like I said earlier, Rochester, Buffalo, Utica, those areas are going to get some really nice views. Here's that timeline. It's going to start around 2 10 p.m. in New York City. Uh, the most percent totality is going to be around 3 25 p.m. Finally rounding out at about 4 36 uh, in the afternoon. So predicted temperatures right now look really good. Rochester, mostly sunny and a high of 57. Buffalo, partly sunny and a high of 59. New York City, mostly sunny and a high of 64. It's going to be a gorgeous day. It's still a little bit early to tell uh, how much cloud coverage exactly we're going to get, but so far it looks like mostly clear skies. So if you are planning on going out and looking at the eclipse, you need to make sure you do so safely. It's never safe to look directly at the eclipse without using proper eye protection. That does not mean that you can just get your polarized sunglasses uh, and take a look directly at the sun. Definitely do not do that. You need to use safe solar viewing slash eclipse glasses but do not use eclipse glasses if they are damaged. So get ready for a gorgeous day on Monday to look at that total solar eclipse.